All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Ranking of Kings episode eight. I'm very much looking forward to this episode. I thought the last one was kind of crazy, uh, especially with obviously the reveal that Boji may actually be super strong now in some kind of way. Uh, we don't know how that's going to be, but very much looking forward to it regardless. Um, yeah, anyway, guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. Oh, shit. So we actually made a deal with that demon. Oh, is that what happened to Boji? Oh my god, no way. I can't believe how that how that was how the episode starts. Oh my god. Who is this? Is this Boshi's mom? Oh my god! Bro, Boshi was... Looking at this, Boshi was supposed to be so strong. <laughs> I kind of like these two, but I don't like the fact that this is what the king's done to actually gain this strength. Jesus Christ. What the hell? Is that the demon doing that? Wait, so as soon as Boji was born, this happened to him. Holy shit. Oh, he's so tiny! Holy shit. That must have been an easy birth. <laughs> oh, she seems like such a sweet mom. I wonder what happened to her then. And so he did. God no. Except strength, which you've taken away from him. And now you've done it again to your second son. Who? Who is it? Oh my god, I'm so... I really want to know who this is. There is so much mystery in this show, man. Wait, what? He has to now kill his wife. What? Oh, bro. Bro, tell me you fucking lopped off his head, dude. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be allowed to, though. What? What will happen to him? Oh shit, yeah, okay. So if Kid Dida's in charge, or Dida, then uh, Hokuro come back isn't gonna help. Bro, Hokuro, tell me you fucked this dude up, come on. Boji. Oh, I hope they find out soon that he's actually alive. He's such a coward, bro. Oh my god. Now Hokuro is back here. Him torn limb from limb? It wasn't his fucking fault. Oh, damn. They're smart, too. Yeah, these things are absolute tanks, holy shit. Bro, you're gonna kill them. Oh my god! 
I mean, you're not supposed to be killing them, right? Or just kill one. Yeah, that's fair enough, yeah. Why does he now want his new wife dead? What the fuck? Hokuro, bro. Bro, healing, come on. It's not his fault. Why is Domas here? You better be here to save this dude's life. It's the least you can do. This is a weird way to kill someone, but okay. He's such a good person. What the fuck? Hilling, why? You're doing this in like a pit of rage. Why are you doing this? Well, he... Oh, you're done for now, bro. You are done for. Hey, so Hilling, um, your dead husband is now in your kid. Uh, sorry about that. Jesus, Domash, you're not going to win this, bro. Dida was giving you hands back in when you were fighting with... And you had two hands. Now it's Bosse, no chance. Yeah, that's the person you should be blaming for this. Yeah, he is alive. No way did it show Bodji on this mirror. Oh my god, no way. Bodji is not the strongest person in the world. How? How? Oh, these poor snakes. Oh, he's crying. Who's this, Bebin? He's actually such a nice guy. Holy crap. I mean, what <laughs> what were you expecting, bro? Holy shit. Oh, shit. You had no chance against this guy, but it's the fact that you got back up. I expect great things, snake guy. <laughs> Oh, they're the ones that saved him. No way. <laughs> Healing's about to pass out. There's something that you assigned him to do. Well, Dida. What, what has he said now? Bro, it's crazy how this everything's just kind of flipped on its head now. Like, Hokuro doesn't have to be mad at Domas anymore. Healing... Uh, well... I mean, he's been banished, so I guess Healing doesn't have to have this guy executed anymore, even though he tried to kill Boji. Is he happy that Boji's not dead? That's kind of... That's hella fucked up. Probably dead. It died as trapped somewhere. Oh shit, okay. And you gotta fight all these monsters? What? Oh, he doesn't want Budgie coming back. This is so crazy. Training under the person that he obviously can't forgive for what he tried to do to Bodji. What it was like to be innocent. I wouldn't say innocent's the correct word. Okay, I guess Domas is not... I guess Domas is off the hook. That's... Okay, sure. Mastered the despot arts. Oji, I need an explanation for your strength, bro. I don't get it. Bro, the fact that he has all of Bosse's strength in that little body. Ooh, even the mirror wouldn't know what he's saying to them. Mm, maybe he's going against the mirror somehow. 
I thought the episode was gonna end there then, holy Jesus. Oh, is this Dida? He's still alive? Oh, my God. You're, like, locked away in, like, a mind prison or something. What is this? Where are you? Oh, that's where the episode ends. Okay. All right, so that was Ranking of Kings, episode 8. Um, wow, what an informative and interesting uh, episode. Firstly, one thing I would just like to say. Bodgy's mum is so cute. Like, and where the fuck is she? Like, there's no way... I mean, she's a giant, so she has, like, a long-ass lifespan, presumably. Um, so, but what happened to her? I don't know. Like, she seemed in perfect health when she had the very small child. Um, I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd like to for the story to kind of explain more about her, because, I don't know, I think meeting with her for Bodgy, if she was still alive, would be an amazing thing. Um, probably many tears. But uh, for whatever reason... Uh, you know, Hilling is the kind of new wife, so presumably she may actually be dead. I'm not sure. Um, the whole situation around Bosse is just hella crazy, and I don't know what the deal is at all. Um, presumably he's uh, sent uh, Domas off to kind of block off the entrance from the underworld under the castle. So Bodgy couldn't come back, but I think it probably runs a little bit deeper than that. I don't know. Uh, overall, a very good episode, though. Lots of little bits in between as well, like Bebin being saved by the snake, and obviously showing how he came to know the snake, which was cool. A um, little bit here and there, like Appius and the mirror, too. Um, why he has to kill Hilling, I don't know. But we'll see if Bosse is this truly evil incarnate kind of person or not. Um, but yeah, overall a very good episode, and that is that, guys. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.